at the March Fen Road Pentecostal Tabernacle. More on that report from Curly Brown. March Fen intends to restore, rebuild, and recommit. A more welcoming cry from the days of barking guns. The fight is now on to wrestle the St. Catherine neighborhood from the crime and violence which has been robbing lives and development. Even though the stigma has not stopped initiatives such as those under the Jamaica Social Investment Fund, JSIF, Inner City Basic Services Program, looking back, all is not satisfactory. The road from the top of the Spanish Town bypass go right down to the end. It needs rehabilitation. And the truth is this should have been done a long time already. But if I can say it as frankly as I want, it is the very community or elements within that have stand in the way of the progress and the development for this area. So surging further ahead means taming the negative forces. The time has now come for us to some way, somehow, find a strategy, and I think we are reaching somewhere, in getting rid of the hurdles, reducing the hurdles, so that the children can have proper road to walk and go to school. So that taxis can have good roads to run on, carrying people about, about their businesses. In other words, the community can indeed be uplifted in the way it should. It's about time. It's also about time residents get hands-on and support the police to ensure unity. Of no less significance is leadership, as prefaced by MP Sharon Hay Webster, who had a subtle message of her own. For whatever reason, I may not run again. That don't stop me and my love and affection for you here in March Pen. You and the people of March Pen. And why? Because I believe we have a story to tell of the difference we can make when we choose to contract together as family. Even over the talk, still loud, about her citizenship, this politician, who might be bowing out from one aspect of service, says it will always be pride, honor, and commitment to the Gateway Parish of St. Catherine. I'm a socialist for life, without apology. Who begs me sorry, but that's me. And that's because I believe in people, and that's my way of doing my job. But I'm not partisan. And I'm a Jamaican. I may have been born elsewhere, but my dear. Carlin Brown, CBN News.